Did you know that this movie has been in development since 2010? Tom Cruise, Keanu Reeves, Nicolas Cage, Jason Statham, and Dwayne Johnson were all eyed to play Colt Seavers over the years. I had a great time seeing this movie, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. This made this movie such an enjoyable, action-packed, funny movie. There are a lot of things I liked about this movie, but there's only one thing in the movie that I didn't like, but I will save that for the end of the review. First thing I liked is the story was actually quite creative and fun. This movie is based off the 80s TV show The Fall Guy. The only difference in the show and the movie is that Colt Seavers in this movie is not a bounty hunter. He is pretty much strictly a stuntman, but he is roped into finding the main actor. But it's mainly to help the producer save face. I also find it pretty funny and creative that most of the storyline in this movie mirrors the storyline of the movie that they are making in this movie. And the characters are very similar to the characters in the made-up movie in this movie. It's just one of those decisions that makes this movie just a little more enjoyable and fun and really comedic in a way. Second thing I liked about this movie is the chemistry between Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. They are both super funny people, great actors, they have great range. I knew from the moment that I saw that Ryan and Emily were going to be in this, I knew it was going to be hilarious. I knew that they would do really great on screen with each other. Emily Blunt's character Jody, for a good majority of the movie, is a petty, feisty, in-your-face woman who takes things pretty seriously, takes her job seriously, and has a lot to say to Colt about the way he treated her, and Emily Blunt was just showing us how gifted of an actress she was in this movie. Ryan Gosling is a very charismatic guy, super funny. He's just so much fun to watch, just how he interacts with people. He's very good at just playing off of other people, and you know, he's gotta let Ryan just do his thing. When you watch him, you know he's gonna just be great. He's, he's unlocked another mode, and then when you put the two characters together, you just got an atomic bomb in your hands. I mean, they're just ripping into each other, making love one moment, fighting the next. All these funny interactions between them, all this funny dialogue between them. Just It was just one of the strongest points in the movie was their chemistry. And of course, this movie being all about stunts and the stunt industry, director David Leitch, who has really cornered the market when it comes to movies like this, included as many stunts as he possibly could in this movie. He definitely paid homage to some classic stunts in this movie that aren't done a whole lot anymore. Then he just did all their crazy stunts. I'm always in awe of stunt people and what they do and how they do it to make it look so realistic. You know it's fake. They make it so convincing that you almost believe that it's real what they're doing. And it was just so cool to see that in this movie and just giving the stunt industry its dues and it really does suck that the Oscars does not include a stunt category because honestly it really really should because they put in so much work and it just sucks that they're just not recognized as much as the actors are but someday maybe that'll change and the one thing I didn't like about this movie is it was a bit long it was two hours and five minutes Honestly, this movie could have been an hour and a half. It's a tight hour and a half and it would have been super, super solid. This movie was pretty solid overall, but there was a couple parts of the movie where it was dragging out a little bit. Not much was happening. They kind of were filling in some stuff with funny scenes and some action stuff, but nothing super substantial. Kind of just wanted them to keep moving forward. But that's it. This was the movie I expected it to be. David Leitch is just an awesome director. Um, I always know that when he's in charge of stuff like this, it's going to be great, it's going to be fun. So go see The Fall Guy as soon as you possibly can. So for The Fall Guy, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 month flaps. And remember, leave me a thumbs up and drop in the comments below. What is your favorite stunt? See you next time.